All right, from Belize to Southwest Florida, the American Crocodile Education Sanctuary is expanding right here to our area. And I'm so happy to welcome Vincent Rose. He is an uh, animal expert, crocodile behaviorist. He is also founder of ACES, along with uh, Rose, uh, I'm sorry, Cherie Rose, excuse me, a published research <laughs> biologist, also founder of ACES. I'm so excited to have you guys on the show this morning. Uh, we also you. have a few of our friends. If you guys didn't notice what is in their laps this morning, <laughs> who do we have here? Well, this is Allie. And Allie, and this we've got... Is, uh, Tubbs. Tubbs. <laughs> I <laughs> love the name. You can see Casey why. has an accident. Okay. <laughs> well, talk about ACES. I know I, I said from Belize to Southwest Florida, and that's kind of where it all began for you guys before you came over here. But mm -hmm. uh, what is your background, and how did you get into helping our wildlife? Well, I was sold with the Steve Irwin shows way back in the 90s. Yeah. I went to Australia, studied crocs, uh, started studying crocs back then, um, and then it just kept... Uh, domino effect um, and once we moved to the country of Belize um, there was <laughs> no no one there who knew anything about alligators or crocodiles or saving crocodiles or any of the species mm -hmm. um, so it uh, it's kind of it's funny a lot of people say the animal chooses you in life mm -hmm. and that's kind of what happened with us um, oh. we never meant to become a huge facility in Central America and start the first American crocodile sanctuary mm -hmm. ever um, but it just all found us. There was no other answer for it. Yeah. There was a lot of poaching going on. Yeah. And um, all these, uh, all the crocodilians um, are protected. Uh -huh. Some are threatened, some are endangered. Yeah. Uh, so it, uh, they chose us. Yeah. And so what brought you here to Southwest Florida then? Well, um, getting on in years, Belize wasn't quite the place to retire to that they say <laughs> that it is. But long story short is down there we protect the American crocodile. And what a lot of people don't know is they're called the American crocodile because they're found in the Americas. They are found here in Florida as well. Okay. We chose this area, Southwest Florida, because we've studied your population of American crocodiles and they are migrating from over in the homestead area to this way. You got a small population in Marco Island mm -hmm. and they are starting to migrate north and tolerate um, the colder weather yeah. up this way. So. Well, I love what you guys are doing, and um, you know, I feel like that education is so important, especially here, as we were kind of chatting during the break, how they are really the animal ambassadors for the state of yes. Florida, and you know, being educated the right way and what to do, you know, if you encounter one, it's so important for everybody to know, especially living here. Um, what animal are alligators closely related to? Take a guess. Uh, crocodiles. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that was a good shot. Uh, they are mostly related to birds. Really? I would not have guessed birds. Most That's people don't. Interesting. Uh, many reasons. One is a uh, four-chambered heart. Okay. Um, huh. Go ahead, Shree, with your they, biology. They can they... actually control their heart valves. Wow. The only animal in the world. So let's say another gator grabbed her and ripped her little arm off. She could actually shut her heart valve and send the blood to other away from that limb so that she won't bleed to death. Wow. Or if they stay submerged, like five hours, they're documenting what was the longest wow. now that you heard five to seven hours. Yeah, over, One over species. Hours. Every species is yeah. a little bit different. But they actually shunt their heart valve and send oxygenated blood to um, to their lungs to be able to stay under longer. They really are so smart too. And you know it's they interesting are. you say birds because aren't are I may be wrong on this, but are birds one of their biggest predators too, especially as they're younger? Yes, yes yeah. they are. Which is interesting. A lot of the sharp okay. And vice versa when they get bigger. Yeah, very and interesting. You mentioned intelligence. They're the only reptile in the world that has a developed cerebral cortex. Wow. So they are capable of plot planning memory. So are they as scary as everybody thinks that they are? They are, they are if, you th if you feed them. Mm -hmm. In which yes. we know not to do that with a lot of our wildlife here. You know, they're wild animals. You shouldn't yeah. be feeding them. And mm -hmm. we're not talking just alligators, right? Correct. Yeah. So most, I mean, most hunters, when they go hunting, oh, they have a heck of a time trying to find their prey. Mm -hmm. And that's what a normal alligator should do, run from you. Mm -hmm. But if there's been any type of feeding, whether it be direct or indirect, meaning indirect, uh, you're throwing your food scraps mm -hmm. out at the water's edge, or you're cleaning your fish right. at the water's mm -hmm. edge, or right. you're feeding the ducks. Mm -hmm. That's an indirect way that they're watching you, they're learning, and they're going to start approaching you okay. and lose their fear of humans. Okay. Important to know. And unfortunately, we're out of time. I have so much more that I want to talk to you about. I'm thinking we could maybe do a Facebook video about the safe uh, ways to catch a gator for everybody since we ran out of time today. And hopefully, okay. we can have you guys back again soon uh, because that. there's so much to talk about. Uh, but great to have you both on. If someone wants to learn more about you guys, what should people do? Do you have a website they can go to? Yes, um, AmericanCrocodileSanctuary.org. Okay. Thank you both so much. Great Thank to have you on the show this morning. And if you want more, of course, head to our website. 
That's fox4morningblend.com. Do you have a business or organization that you'd like to see featured on the Morning Blend? Let us know. We love hearing from our Morning Blend viewers. Who do you want to see on our show? You can connect with us through our social media sites on Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram.